So in my opinion, this is the fastest way to hang pre-hung doors with a perfect installation that is gonna stand the test of time. I'm gonna show it to you. If you've got any tips, tricks, ideas for me, drop them in the comments. You can always learn and get better. That being said, we are gonna shoot this in real time. No cuts, no editing. I've got two camera angles, so we might cut back and forth, but then you will see exactly how long this is gonna take. <sighs> I'm nervous. Timer, okay. First thing is take the blocks off of the bottom of the door. When I set the doors, I like to put them sideways so you don't have to mess around with them. Richard's red and water pump pliers is gonna be the way to go here. Yeah, you wanna pull these little nails out because if you have to undercut the jams, it's gonna wreck your blade. If you miss one and they break off, not a huge deal. You just don't wanna leave them all in there. Got that. Now I will stand the door up. Just be careful you don't break the edges off here. Next thing, just clean out your jam here. So much easier to do this before you get the door installed. So tile floor in here, I'm going to put 3 8 blocks in here. We'll check the, the floor, see how level it is, and we'll block up the low side. The corner, yeah, very level, so it's not going to matter. We'll put the blocks on both sides there. Next thing. Got my six foot level. I like to pre-mark where the hinges are gonna go. Before we do that, let's check the opening. I check the opening for width there, and then that'll tell me how much shim I'm gonna need to put in there. See if the hinge side is level. It's a little bit off, not too bad. I'll mark out where the shims are gonna go. Now when it comes to the shims, you're going to want to put uh, the fat side on the, the in-swing part of the door. And I like to just nail them on with my 18 gauge. You kind of want to center the door. That's why I do the pre-measuring. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Make sure you have the level kind of at the same point of the shim. That way it's not going to get confused.
<laughs> I'm nervous and I'm struggling. Careful not to knock the shims off here. Get your bottoms pretty much where they gotta go. Take the little lock out of here. Oh, why is this one stuck? There we go. Smooth. Now I'm gonna use a 15 gauge nailer and some headless screws to get this thing installed. Start off on the top hinge, and this is the most important part. You wanna get this centered on your drywall. It's gonna make it so much easier to do the casings up top. And I'm not too worried about the level. I'm just gonna be following the wall. Use the old boot hammer. Check it. It's pretty good along the top. That side is pretty good. Before I get carried away, I like to just put a screw in this top pin here just to cement that in place. That is the most important hinge. Make sure you're still centered. Check it again. Next, you want to just check that top and make sure your gap is even. If it's not, you can lower this side here. And then you just want to work your way around. I'll come back and nail this off afterwards. It's pretty good. If you can eyeball the gap, that is fine. If you're not quite sure, an eighth inch shim, eighth inch minus is going to tell you where you need to be. Now I'll nail this top. Then we will check this here. So that's not bad. This is what I like about the 15 gauge is if you need to adjust it, it's not that strong so you can kick the door around. And get this gap looking good here. And the shim comes in pretty handy here. I'll just stick that in there where it's got to go. Put this in here, right like that. Like that. And then I like to just throw a little mark on the shim because as you open up the door, it will want to fall down. centered and see how that works. Yeah, that's good. Gap is good all the way around. 
around. Now you want to make sure that you're hitting solid along the jam. And it could go out of here this way. Foot wedge. That is pretty sweet. This could go in here. Striking solid. Make sure you don't nail right in the middle there because that's where your plate will need to screw into. That is very nice all the way along. Check the reveal. Reveal is great. We'll throw a screw into the strike plate here. Again in the corner. And then I will throw one more 15 gauge in. One last check, looks good. Now when it comes to pulling out the bottom shims, just be careful you don't chip the jam. The Richard's Red, handy for this. Cut off the shims. Bang, bang. Let's see what time we're looking at here. 13 minutes, 17 seconds. Back in the day, I used to be able to get her under 10 minutes. I was younger and better back. <laughs> all in all, let me know if you've got a quicker method, anything I could do differently here to speed things up or to a better installation. And yeah, if you want to see a little bit more kind of step-by-step on why it is and all the different methods here, check out this video right over here. Oh, 13 minutes. Old timer. Whew.